My name is Diego Stolko. I'm a sound designer, performer, and some people say a piano destroyer. I had the pleasure to work with DTS before on a couple of projects. And when they came up with the idea of creating the sound signature, they called me because they knew that I could uh, create something a little different. The API gear was basically the starting point for all the sounds that I created for the sound signature. It was very important to keep the same clarity um, consistent across all the sounds that I was using. The amount of processing that I did after I recorded everything uh, was relatively minimal compared to the amount of work that you usually do on these kind of projects. And the reason was because the sound that I captured with the 512Cs was already exceptional. It was already rich. It was already beautiful sounding. So I didn't want to ruin that natural sound by applying too many layers of post-processing. The 527 compressors worked great, especially when I was trying to record very quiet sounds. I was very pleased with the clarity of sound, because um, of course when you have quiet sounds you have to deal with noise, background noise, but still the sound that I was able to record was pristine and musical. The 550Bs sounds incredibly well, and in this particular case, I was also trying to extract sounds that you wouldn't normally hear. The sound that happens at the very end of the sound signature, it's actually milk, lentils, and barley. But the reason why it sounds so big, it's because I was boosting the low end so much, yet the sound was musical and clear. Working with the API gear allowed me to record what I hear in my imagination. But with the API gear, I was actually able to transport it into reality. You want to see something cool? This is the rack that I use for DTS sound signature. I have four preamps, two EQs, and four compressors. 